Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't done so just yet, please like and subscribe and please share with a friend. Hi guys, this is Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And um, as promised, I soap my nails off and I am about to do for you guys a full set with hand filing. All right. So I soak my nails off. I have not been, forgive me for having a little residue there, but I have not been buffing my nails because they were pretty thin underneath there. And um, I have just been laying the acrylic over it because I only wear them for so long and then take them off again. So I'm going to do a slight buff, guys, but I'm going to explain exactly what I'm going to do. I'm only going to do my left hand on camera because I don't want this video to go on forever. It's my Thanksgiving set that I'm putting on. Today is what? Sunday and Thursday's Thanksgiving. So yeah. So I want it to last a little bit longer than the soak off I usually do or the pop offs that I usually do. So um, I am going to show you guys plain and simple how I do a full set using um hand files okay so this is an 8080 i had a video that i posted yesterday and i showed you guys um i have boxes of these that have 8080 this is these are a couple of used ones that i have but i wanted to get a fairly new one and um this is my personal stuff right so it's an 8080 hand file and i hold it like this guys if you hold a hand file like this you have um, it, you have the mo you can do the, the motions, but it's very gentle. So I'm going to pull back on the skin on the side to get into the corners here. And like I say, guys, I'm doing this extremely gentle because I don't want to over buff my nails right now. And then I just gently, you're not doing this for, um, making the nails thin out. You're just trying to remove the natural oils. On the nail right and to a certain extent I think this is a little bit gentler than when you do it with the e-file um, and you go around so first of all guys so one of y'all should have tell me hey Carol did you push the cuticles back and the answer would have been no so we're going to start with pushing back on the cuticle. My apologies for that, guys. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But I should. All right, so we push back on the cuticle here. Gentle, guys. I tend to move a little bit fast and I'm learning to slow down. But I am so high-paced during the day that when I sit down... It's almost like I need a Valium or something. I'm always running. Um, all right, so we're going to push back on the cuticle, just exposing the new growth underneath there. And like I said, I'm holding the, the hand file like so. And I'm just going gently around that area. And my nails has not had a chance to develop oils on it, guys, because I literally just finished um, soaking it off. The acetone will dehydrate. And I am, I was enjoying my husband's company while I was soaking my nails off. I'm going to just put this phone on airplane mode because it's going to be... I have two phones and this one is going to be going off over and over and over. So to avoid um to avoid the phone making too much notification sounds, I just put it on airplane mode. Yesterday was my anniversary, so everybody knows I'm unavailable to them anyway, so don't call me. My husband is an avid runner, so He's out running somewhere. And so I'm home alone. On my anniversary weekend, guys. I swear he has a girlfriend on a track. 
I'm just kidding. He don't have no girlfriend, but I'm just saying. He's an ultra marathoner. And so that's what they do. They run a lot. So. so guys, see how my hand is just moving lightly over the, my nail. I'm not trying to thin the nails out. I'm just trying to get enough of the natural oils off the surface of my nail so that I am not damaging the nail. And when I went to my nail tech, the guy who used to do my nail, really great nail tech. But to a certain degree, I think they just want the finish, whatever the finish look is supposed to be. They just want that and don't really, I don't want to accuse them of not caring because they care enough to make sure that the work looks good. I just don't know why they dig so deep into it. And of course, if you don't know that that's what they're doing, then you are happy-go-lucky with what you got. But I can take my set off and the nail look pristine underneath there because... um. I didn't go that deep and you see how I'm holding the hand file I gotta keep looking up to make sure I don't go out the frame right so that's what so the nail is prepped and ready to go so I didn't have I'm at um, home right now and I had an old box of clear I my clears are um, I'm out of my clears right now so guys we're gonna go with what I have we're going to go with what I have. And I wanted to do some encapsulation because I haven't done that with you guys yet. In a while, I should say. And so I kind of wanted to do some encapsulations. And so I have to work with what I got. Hmm. That one is going to make my hand stick to it. Yeah, like I said, I'm only going to do one hand with you guys on camera. And then I will do the other hand by itself. To myself, I should say. And I am going to do the reveal shot with you guys. Okay. And I am not going to leave them this long. So I'm fitting the, the nail to, to my individual finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to go on there straight, buddy. So thank you those of you who um, commented yesterday on the video that was posted. Um, and some of you were asking for me to do, oops, a, come on. Were asking for me to do a full set without um, hand filing. Thank you for asking me to do that. And um, I really appreciate the interest you guys are showing. It, it helps me to go in the direction of what you want to see and not what I think you want to see. Right? And that actually gives me the motivation to keep going forward. It's like, okay, they want to see this. That's interesting. But listen, guys, you know that every time I get to 100 subscribers, I give away something. And I have the, the, um, 
the brush that I use, it's like one of the original brushes that everybody used back in the day. And um, we are at a hundred and... Mm, 31 or something like that come on guys we know people who like nails um help me out here guys i need to get my subscription to 200 and move on from 200 so i'm just cutting these just behind the number on the nail it is thanksgiving and i am working Tuesday and Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I don't have a whole bunch of clients in the shop for the day here. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I could wear my nails a little bit longer. I cut one of them a little bit shorter than I wanted, so everybody else has to come down. And I like using... Uh, scissors you can use whatever you want you can use a tip cutter um, and I utilize all of them the tip cutter the I utilize the tip cutter scissors nail clippers whatever it is you have to do to get the job done that's a beautiful thing about what we do is there is no wrong way or right way oh that's good there's no really wrong way or right way to do what you want to do as long as you get the results that you want okay i'm all for it and <clears throat> in this case i am going to be you all know me i'm going to go stiletto and the reason why i either go tapered square or stiletto because my I have big hands. I have no problem with it, with my hands being big. Especially I gained a little bit of weight, so they really got big. And um these help elongate my hands. So whichever style you choose, I, I like to say like Lurals, do it till you're satisfied, or whatever it is. So Whatever it is you're doing, do it till you're satisfied. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right. So I'm going to take my hand file. Once again, it's 80-80. And guys, I cannot tell you, whatever shape you want your nails to be, if you can perfect that shape at this point, half the battle is over. Okay. So we're going to bring this in into the shape of exactly what I want. Um, observe how straight up and down this file is because I am going, I'm working towards taking the nail into a point at the top. And if we can get this nail straight in the direction you want it to go in right here, when you lay the acrylic, it should be easier for you to do so, right? Because the nail is already in the shape that you want it, and um, it just helps you to lay the acrylic. In my opinion, it gives me less work to do. So now if the tip is like this a little bit, it's okay. You know, if you want to make it a little pointier in the end, but I like to get as close to the shape that I want. Oh, and I wanted to show you something, guys. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I have a little drawing here on, um, I don't know, can you see, I have a little drawing here on, I know you can't tell my chicken scratch on the drawing, but I'm showing you that um, to, to show that there is a little bit of planning that goes into what it is I'm doing today so that you should, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing today. I happen to know what I want to do. So I, I drew it out. 
or at least in a direction of where I want to go. At the end of the day, I'm going to end up doing what I want to do regardless of what that drawing says, but it gives me an idea of where I'm starting, the colors that I'm um, choosing. So if you with your friends or family, when I teach these classes, I'm not teaching these classes to professionals. I'm teaching these classes to anyone who wants to learn how to do nails. Um, when we do professionals, we go into a classroom, right? Um, so if all your education is coming from YouTube and you think that that's all that there is to what we do, that's not necessarily true. But in any event, um, there is some thoughts going into what it is I'm doing. And I did put it, draw it on paper. And then I am going to get my inspiration from there if I didn't or wasn't already inspired by something in particular. So right now, I am actually inspired by the fact that it's fall and it's Thanksgiving, right? And so I'm holding the file straight up and down. That gives me the sharpest, no rounding, the sharpest turn, right, up on the nail. And I would be filing left to right, left to right, left to right, turn my hand around, do some on this side. And this is where I'm going for my point of the nail to be dead center. So even though I am not, I don't have a line draw there, I am visually looking dead center. And that's what I'm trying to I used to be afraid to do this part right here because it's just glue hole in the tip and I'm worried that the tip will pop off. But if you, if it's stuck on there good, it'll take a little bit of pressure before it actually pops off. Spend some time right here, getting the shape that you want. And like I said, some of them, because I know what I'm going to put onto this nail right here, I am um, not really bringing this one all the way in. I need some place to put down what I'm doing, and then I'll bring it in the rest of the way. One of the things I like about doing my nails with just a hand file, it allows me to slow down a little bit. And guys, I want you to see something. When I'm doing this, I'm doing I'm not using my wrist like this. I'm moving my whole hand like so. So you'll hear people talk about blowing out their wrists. I've been doing this for a long time and I don't have my wrist does not hurt because I'm moving my whole hand. From the elbow like a wiper you know your wiper doesn't move from just the tip of the wiper it moves the whole arm of the wiper and that's what I'm doing I will bring this tip in a little bit closer as well when I get to that point but y'all see where I'm going with this right The file is straight up and down. And this one as well, I am going to leave it a little bit coffiny on the top because I want to have some space to put down the stuff that I want to. And then I will... Um, Alrighty, so we did the, we did the, what do you call it? We did the prepping with the hand file. Now I am actually going to blend the tip in right here.
to my natural nail. And I'm always concerned, make sure you are seeing where the tip is and where your natural nail is so that you're not working the natural nail. You're just working blending the tip in. Just like you would with an e-file. And two or three videos back, I did the testing, the swatching of the, the powders that I'm going to use. So this particular nail set had a whole lot of thinking going on. Now, y'all know my go-to... My go-to is Young Nails Primer. Young Nails Primer, protein bun, I should say. Um, I'm not sure if there's a lot in that bottle. So I have other options. Let's see how much is in there. Yeah, I might be able to get it. If not, I would use the JC Beauty Concept Acid Free. You know, it looks like we have plenty in there because you all know I do it twice. I love this stuff. I know my nails was looking awful, but it was just dry. So now you can see that they don't look as bad as, they're not as bad as they look. That's just because they had a fresh soak off and no hydration to them. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for the holidays, I'm ready for a break. I'm ready to relax. And my husband has, he goes to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He has a half a day. And then he's home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, I wouldn't know what to do with myself, guys. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And as you guys know, I love the Entourage Nail Gallery clear not because it's mine but this is some serious stuff and i'll talk all about that in a second we will be using some monoma out of my scully bottle it is the entourage nail gallery um monoma and i have a dapping dish um it's a i guess it's a candlestick holder y'all know i love me some candlestick holders um it's deep so we don't have to fill the reservoir up because you might not use all that product and it's okay to you to fill it up a little bit and then come back and put some more okay so i like to bring character to what i'm doing so i'm always looking for something fun to play with all righty i have my little hand rest here i have my kalinsky brush and oops i have my paper towel my um i have one sheet of shop cloth paper towel and i like to fold it in four like so and then there's two sheets on the table because i don't want the product to come through on the opposite side see if you can see everything here so it is customary for me to put a thin layer of clear down whether on myself or on my guests and the reason for me doing that is because one mainly um i don't trust the guests with not touching their nails and so i put a thin layer of clear down also if i'm using pigmented powder i don't want the powder staining my nail and today is such a day that we are going to be using pigmented powder, highly pigmented powder. 
and we will be using um what do you call it eye gel products today and if you have any eye gel in your collection you know that eye gel can have some seriously beautiful pigmented powders my line is not that great, um, big yet and so we don't have some of the colors that i would need so today we are excited we are using eye gel products today now i am very much aware of the fact that today i am hand filing all the way through so i want to make sure and not just because i'm hand filing but i love to make sure that i am not flooding all right so you want to make sure you get in the product in there but please don't flood. And if you happen to flood, it's okay. Just clean it up before you move on and before it dries. Okay. Alrighty. So I am, that ends my prep work. So most people prep work ends at um most people's prep work end at the buffing of the nail, the primer. I have that extra step. You can utilize that, it's not necessary, but I like to. Okay, so based on my graph that I have here that I showed you guys before, this nail is going to have a oh, I have something for cutting the crease somewhere. All right, I found my X-Acto knife. So we're gonna, we may or may not need the X-Acto knife, but I have one just in case I need it. And I am going to do that one with, I believe I'm gonna do Honey Bunches or what is this one? Um, Secret Whisperer, let's try that one. I swatched them already, ooh, loud. See what I mean when I says, the powder is pigmented. I mean, they're not playing with the pigment. I love it. Oh, Lord. You see what I mean when I say the powder is seriously pigmented? Eye gel don't play. If you want pigmented powder, get yourself some eye gel if you're serious about pigmenting. So, we used to live in Arizona, and certain parts of Arizona and New Mexico has these rock formation 
the colors of the rock formation is just unbelievable okay so i am i am trying to remember what the colors of some of the earth tones and the reds oh my gosh the reds were off the chain so i'm gonna back that up with some daredevil or do i want to put some hmm this is tough decision here today I definitely know I want... Okay, let's stick to the graph. And the graph says I was going to put... Okay, I was going to put some glitter here. The glitters I have at my disposal right this second. I'm not sure if that's what I want to put down. Mm. What do I want to put there? Well, I know for sure. Yes, I'll do the glitter. I know for sure I don't want to put, you see where my natural nail is showing underneath here? I don't want that to show. So I'm going to put some glitter in here that will cover my natural nail. And then we will move on from there. So we're going to need some clear for that to pick up the glitter. Let's see what that looks like, because I didn't test this one. Mm -hmm. And where's the other one? Right there. Decisions, decisions. Uh, what do I want to put back there? This is just so that I can cover up my natural nail underneath there. Guys, this is paying attention to details. Um, I have seen some beautiful nail jobs. And whenever I see somebody on the street with a very beautiful nail job, I usually stop and ask them if it, and tell them I'm a nail tech. Um, do you mind if I take a picture of your nail? And sometimes the nail could be looking beautiful. The nail job would be looking beautiful. But if you pay some serious attention to it, you can see where the nail tech was not careful enough to be like, okay, I can see the person's nail and that's not really looking good on any there. Or maybe it looks good to them. Maybe I'm just being Miss Know It All. But I pay attention to details. It's part of what I do in the salon when I'm coloring someone's hair. I literally, I have to pay attention to what the overall look is, right? So I'm a little bit judgy, I guess. Forgive me. But you know what I mean. You kind of want, when you when your work walk out, if I don't get any um, referrals from it, I take that as, hmm, maybe I didn't do that great of a job that somebody would want to be like oh my god your hair looks so amazing and i want to do whoever did your hair i want that person so i'm very critical about my own work right so now that i've covered up my my i've covered up my natural nail where it joins there i don't like that look i don't like to see it and then guys what i'm gonna do here underneath there is i have some 
either one of these, maybe that one, or I have the fall leaves and um, I don't want to be matchy matchy. Um, I will put the four leaves in on something else. And I don't have a, um, what do you call it? I don't have the thing to pick up the bead, not the bead, the, um, the goal. Now, see, I'm not sticking to the game plan here, guys. I'm making up this shit as I go along now. My silence is because I'm thinking about how much I'm about to mess up the original idea I had. And on the tip... I like chocolate brown and pink, but chocolate brown and purple gives me like that raspberry chocolate. We will see. Yeah, let me don't put too much stuff on here. That will get me...
okay good enough for government work on this one and there are so many ways to hold your hem i don't mind can you even see what i'm doing i don't mind holding my hand this way i just really need something to put my hand down on so that i have stability so guys i'm not trying to be petty okay so someone commented yesterday and i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong somebody i am not sure if she was joking or if she was serious was she agreeing with me was she disagreeing with me i don't know um so you know i was doing documenting what i was doing yesterday on a pen and a piece of paper and the comment was and please forgive me if I'm taking you the wrong way. The comment was, are we doing research? And then it had a book and then it had a face laughing and then it had a thumbs up. And I don't know how to read that. That um, Should I say thank you? Is that a compliment? You like what I'm doing? Um, you think it was funny that that's what I was doing? I'm not sure. So if anybody knows what to how to read that caption please let me know so i can uh not take you know i don't get in my feelings it's like oh i couldn't give a rat's ass about you know i'm just saying i just need to understand what it is that um comment was was it hey i like the fact honestly speaking let me answer let me answer it this way um <clears throat> I have been licensed in Massachusetts, Georgia, South Carolina, Arizona, Maryland, and Virginia. I'm all about integrity, okay? I've never worked one day in my life in this business. Um, I've never worked one day in this business illegally. So I know there is a lot of information out on, ooh, this is pretty, a lot of information out on youtube and wherever else people can find instagram on the social media platforms if that's the only place you get any information from um i'm here to tell you that that's not all the information that is out there what we are showing you is the finish not necessarily all the other stuff that goes into educating somebody about doing nails and some of the things that you can look out for. So I'm not accusing that person who ever made that comment. I think the, the smiley face is what, the laughing face is what kind of threw me off. It's like, is she liking the direction I'm going in? Or is she trying to say, what are you trying to say? I guess I didn't understand. But, um... I'm going to take it as because it was a thumbs up and because it was the books there that the person was trying to say, hey, somebody's actually given some real information. I have my own products, guys, and I, I want people to like the products that I do at, use in my line. And I would I want to start actually reviewing other people's products. And I do have a whole lot of products at my disposal for doing that in my own personal collection. So, but I'm not going to just come out here and tell you guys lies about anything when it comes to the, I want to, I want you to test the products with me. Do you agree with me that this is, you know, do you agree with me that this is good product? Nobody is paying me. Um, to say or do anything with the products. So I want to be as perfectly honest with you when I say I like something or I don't like something. I want you to be like, you know what Carol is, she has always told the truth. Um, if I'm testing something, 
I am just not going, if I'm doing a, a review, I'm not just going to do a review on your product and say, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. I kind of want to test it against something we already know has a reputation. Does that make sense? Right? You, you kind of want to be like, this is good and this is the reason why it's good. I don't want to just say it's good because somewhere along the line, somebody may or may not be influencing me to say that. I honestly want when you spend your money to purchase something that I recommend that you purchase or whatever, I will always be checking myself that the information that I give you is the actual information that you need to have. And if you don't have, if I don't have accurate information, I promise you I am going to go out and find it and I will come back and give you the information. For instance, I was testing for the first time the Kiera Sky hand file and not for the life of me could I hold that thing in my hand without feeling like I wanted to throw up the texture of it in my hand was just different than anything I've ever touched in terms of a nail file. So first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to be reaching out via email to the company to find out if there is something about this file that I am missing, that is a benefit to me, that I need to know that it's a benefit to my audience that they might want to know. Because it was, I have been doing this since, since the, um, early nineties. And I am yet to feel a, uh, if a hand file that felt that way, it just felt different. I'm not going to say anything is wrong with it because I don't know that. It just felt different. So I just feel like if I felt that way about it, somebody else might actually feel the same. And my girl at Latina Nail Design reached out and said, hey, I own a couple of Kiera Sky's hand file and it is coated with something. So there you go. It's, you know, it's not just me. And she might not mind what it feel like, but it really felt like, what the hell am I holding in my hand here? And it used to bother my mother how everything grossed me out. But <laughs> I'm too old to be grossed out by stuff. But it's it's something that if I'm a little child, if something felt weird to me, it just felt weird. I'm going to tell you, it feel weird. So I am actually really excited to find out and had it not been for the fact that I was doing the video that I was doing, I had that file for a while. I never used it. I probably would not have figured out that, wait a second, why is this so different than all the other ones? So I'm, I'm going to lean towards the fact that there is some, um, some type of, uh, some type of a... Oh, I'm feeling that. Some type of uh, um, something on it that is different. Mm. Yeah, something is on it that is different. So I'm going to email them and say, my, my viewers would like to know the technology that went into making your hand file because we observed through research that there was a it's very different than other hand files is there something we need to know that is a benefit to using and in that case, I may, in order for me to use it, I may have to put some gloves on, which I should be wearing gloves anyways. But um, yeah, it, it, it was just different to me. So if anybody else experienced um, the texture in the um, 
Kira Sky file feel different to you, please let a sister know that I ain't crazy. Say it's okay, Carol. You don't have to go to therapy because the, bra <laughs> the hand file feel different. Guys, I promise you, I, I deviated from my original game plan with this set. And so now I am having all sorts of um, thoughts going on in my head as to where I'm going with this. And so if it feel, if it looks like, does she know what she's doing? She really doesn't. At least not here right now anyways. A little bit of see-through right here. And I'm freestyling, but not really because I had a plan. And I kind of deviated from the plan. It's not going to be you. Choco pie. Now, this was a beautiful one when I tested it. So the reason why stuff looks such a mess here, my husband and I are doing some renovations to the um, the house, the rooms. It's not my house, guy. Um, to make it so that I can do nails more comfortable in here. And we haven't gotten the furniture and stuff just yet. So there is, really isn't anywhere for me to put stuff. So I can't show you the room yet. It's a hot mess. You'd be like, damn, Carol. But um, so there isn't a place for me to display stuff. So the inboxes on the floor next to my feet. And it's given me a little bit of a run for my money. Because you know anything about me, I like to have stuff sort of like in order everything has a place to go and right now i am out of order so i'm a little bit not um as coordinated as i would like to be but at the same time, I am still trying to function. And I challenged myself because I could be a little bit lazy with putting the videos out. Um, for those of you who put videos out, you know, it could be challenging at times. Um, so I'm taking the opportunity to do a lot of speaking while I am shooting the videos so that I don't have to go back and do an hour's worth of uh, voiceover. If I can get the voiceover and the video at the same time, then kudos to me. So it's allowing me to put up videos a little bit more frequently. And also, there are people out there who have hundreds of videos. I am still in the 30-something. My I don't have that high of a video count because I was enjoying everybody else putting videos out. And I really wanted to do videos, but I had to learn the technology, what equipment I needed for shooting, the lighting systems. I had to learn a whole bunch of stuff, guys. So it took me a while um to learn those things and so once i figured out what it is i wanted then i have to learn how to use it i have to learn how to edit the videos and put them up um 
there's a lot to learn so i am just now trying to get caught up with everybody on how many videos and attract attention which brings me back to i need you guys to subscribe and tell a friend to entourage hair gallery is entourage nail gallery my salon is called entourage hair gallery and we have a department called entourage nail gallery the nail section so um yeah so i need subscribers people I need subscribers and I have lots of great stuff to give away but I can't give it if nobody's subscribing and then I am going to do the pinky in some form of a glitter so we're gonna pick up some clear and some of this stuff right here. Yeah. <clears throat> so somebody tell me what that, that emoji with the smiley face and the thumbs up. Is it a double message? I don't know, guys. Please help a sister out. But I think that's the best way to do stuff. You know, research just means, you know, I'm coming into or somebody's coming in to a new field. And um, somebody has already done the hard work for you before. So all you're trying to do is get up to speed with everybody else. And um, there is a lot of reviews out there that are talking about how something is good, but there is nothing to compare it to. It's like, yeah, it's great and it's performing the job. But before that one was there, there was something else people were using before. So let's just line that up against what was out there before. And um, I'm going to have a lab series coming out soon where my videos are going to be doing just that. Compared to what was there before, why is this any better than the original? Because sometimes you all know there's nothing like the original, right? So if you're one of those people who absolutely have to have the best, and that's why we have reviews. It's like, somebody tell me why I should get this product over this one. And um, But more than that, I, from a scientific point of view, I'm not a scientist, guys. I'm a cosmetologist. Um, but from a science point of view, I like to know what makes things work. Well, why does this work? What's the technology behind it? Um, is there something better? You know, there's a lot of companies now, including mine, who wants to sell their products. Um, but I want to make sure that you educated. Not because I said so, because I know so. And I want you as well to know so. Oh, come on, little. There's one of these that are sticking high up right in the front. Right here. So I have to make this a little thicker than I want to right here. So that when I file, I don't file it off. Alrighty, guys. We're almost there. 
and then we have one more nail that I want to do which is my thumb and I tend to give the least amount of love to that thumbnail but not today you gonna get maximum love today thumbnail and I'm actually going to ombre the thumbnail with a with some glitters to the tip I have a little spot missing. So I went to one of my favorite restaurants pre-anniversary. So this was Friday night. My husband and I love this restaurant. They have the best fried rice. They have a combination of foods on the menu. And my husband and I do not eat the same foods. So that's really challenging for us to find a restaurant that we can both enjoy. So I don't do the pork and he don't do seafood. But this particular restaurant has seafood and, and then it has a variety of um, either African food or Asian food, and they're really good at making them. So, I mean, they're used to us coming in on a Friday night anyways. So this particular Friday night, I wanted some, what did I want? Some seafood. I, I wanted a seafood boil, and he wanted chicken. So this seafood boil place, they do have some, menus that are some items that are pre-selected for you and then they have one that you can select what you want so i wanted the dungeness crabs the crab legs um i wanted some sausage and i really couldn't find where the sausage was on the menu no at first i just ordered the snow crabs with the shrimp and the they put spaghetti in theirs. And um, when I go to sit down at my table, there was a lady and her son having their dinner. And oh my God, they had Dungeness crab in this bacon dish. So I was like, ooh, excuse me, ma'am. What is that? Y'all know I'm greedy, right? What's that? And she told me what it was. So I went back and I took my credit card with me and I asked them to add what they were having to my seafood boil. Great. So I don't mind black mussels, but my order came back with um, black mussels, um, the shrimp, the Dungeness crabs, and the crab legs, but no sausage. Guys, what the hell? That's why I want the seafood. I want that. And they don't have the pork sausage. They have beef sausage which is the reason why we go to that. You know, it's not like an andouille sausage. It's a beef sausage. So when the food came, it had black muscles. I was like, ooh, bonus. But I called them over and I said, hey, um, where's my sausage? And the guy, the lady said, oh, Carol, I'm so sorry. Yes, they know me by name, guys. Carol, I'm so sorry. Do you want a half a pound or a pound of sausage? Who the hell needs a pound of sausage? I say half is fine. And then the young man comes out, the one who took my order with a credit card machine, talking about, I didn't tell him that I wanted the sausage. And he has the credit card machine in his hand to charge me for the sausage. And I was like, absolutely not. You would not charge me for those sausages. I already came back and paid for the dungeon of scraps, which I am all for paying my way. But it's not the first time we've gone there. And that particular guy have messed up our order. 
um, he does it all the time. He's like, dude, you at the register. And I noticed that a lot of people end up bringing their stuff back and saying, hey, this is not what I ordered. And um, they end up having to give away food because, I mean, nothing worse than, you know, you're sitting at a table. My husband's food is here. He's already eating or his food. He has to sit and wait for you to go correct my order and come back. And um, anyways, so I was just like, look, if I got to pay extra for that, when originally that's what you charged me for, but you put, and I told them, I said, he charged me for the sausage and he put black mussels there, which I didn't mind having the black mussels, but that's not what I asked for. And so the lady, her name is Carmen. She said, mommy, no, 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 no. I no charge you for, I'm not going to charge you for, I'm not going to charge you for the sausage. Um, I'm like, dude, I don't mind paying my way. It's just that, and, and my husband and I were spending some money this weekend because it's the anniversary weekend. That wasn't the point. The point is, how many times would I be, oh, this is pretty. How many times should I be coming to your restaurant and we come in because we actually genuinely like the food and the people are nice, but um, each time he did that, we would end up having to pay extra for something. So for instance, I paid for the sausage in the first place. You put black mussels on there. And so now you're going to charge me. Oh, well, you got the black mussels, but we, you paid for the sausage. Now you have to pay for the mussels that I didn't ask you for that you gave me. So you got to have to start wondering, wait a second, is this you, the way of adding on to your ticket? And knowing me, I'm so freaking greedy out of I would have paid for it, except that it happens every single time we go there. And um, it's not, a, I'm not annoyed enough to say I'm not going to go back because I really do like the restaurant. And it's one of those places where there is something on the menu for both my husband and I. But I am beginning to question the airheadedness of the guy at the who takes your order. Is he airheaded on purpose or are you guys playing games? Ooh, that actually came out prettier than I thought it would. And guys, this is not what I had in mind, but we're going to go with that. All righty. I'm just going to build up the front a little bit more on the thumb so that when I file down on it, it does not um, hit the glitters in okay so my brush is beginning to get a little bit yakky so y'all know I have a little um glass here that I throw the brush in and I put a little bit of I have brush cleaner as well, but I don't know what the brush cleaner is. And there is a lot of controversy up over acetone to clean your brush or um, brush cleaner, or should you just soak it in acetone? I mean, in monomer. I will do my research on that, and I will get back to you on what it is I find out on what is the best way to clean your brush. All right? Yes, we're researching, guys. So I'm going to clean up my mess here a little bit wow i've already hit an hour on this video um i'm gonna clean up this mess here a little bit and we're gonna get to the part that you're really watching this video for the hand filing just get some of this stuff out of my way and hopefully by this weekend some of the stuff we ordered would come in for the room and then what didn't come in for the room or we didn't order, we can go somewhere and pick up the, the stuff that we need. And um, I can get this room in a situation where I can show you guys exactly what the heck it is 
I'm doing, but for right now, I could only show you the table. I promise you it's a hot mess. You don't need to see that, do you? No, you don't. Yeah, you don't need to see the hot mess. Just know that I am going to come with something really pretty. And when it is pretty, I'll be happy to show it to you. All right, so we're waiting. This one should be dry by now. So this is my 8080 hand file. First, I'm doing is I'm separating my skin from... You know, you don't want to cut yourself or a guess. And I want, if you have any flooding, which we do a little bit right here. Can you see? Yeah. Right? I'm going to go underneath it. Guys, the skin is right there. So be careful. This is where you want to go slow. And now I want to show you something. When I am underneath here, I really want to find... You know that drainage here? That's what you're freeing up. That's what you want to see. Right? You're doing it on the same side. And the file is straight. And remember, we didn't have a straight point right here. At this point, I'm ready to make that nail pointy pointy. I'm underneath it a little bit. And then I come up straight on the side, and then I do the same thing on the other side. Right? And you want to make sure you go down the side right here. And guys, you will hear me talk about texture, right? You have to develop the ability to feel with your file when you're hitting skin or flesh, and when you're hitting the product on the nail, right? You have to be aware of the fact that you are dealing with a human that has skin, that has nerve endings, that has feelings in it, that when you push down on the file, you practice pushing down on your finger, to feel what the file feels like, what message the file is sending back to you that you are actually touching flesh or you are touching the actual product. So when you hear me going berserk about a Kiera file that feels wet in my hand, I know what I'm talking about, okay? So now, remember I showed you how to hold the file like this with a backhand kind of hole? That's another way, if I'm digging into it like this, I could actually be putting pressure in places I don't want. So if you have the file like this around the person's finger, especially in the cuticle area here, you have more, it, it's less pressure. So I just freed up the, the cuticle area, right? But... I go above the cuticle like so. And once again, I'm making sure I don't feel skin. Spongy. It has this, the natural skin has a, a way. It, it's almost like you're on a trampoline and a trampoline. When you jump on it, it, it goes like this. The skin will do that, right? So you want to make sure you are feeling the bungee of the skin. So now I'm going across the top. Finger on the file like so, and I'm going across the top in this direction, up, and then when I'm coming down on this side, I'm holding the file like this, and I'm coming down. So you go up on one side, and you come down on the other side. Isn't that a beautiful shape? It has sort of like a teardrop shape, right? And that's what you're looking for, and you're looking for dead center on this nail that the point is in the center. Right? And when I'm going around the, the top right here, I'm coming down like... Now, if you have lumpies at this point, this is where you're working your lumpies down. Your bumps or whatever you guys want to call it. Right? 
going moving on to the next one same thing i want to separate if you have any the skin is touching the you got any flooding going on there you want to make sure you know where that is you want to go underneath that flooding and you want to file being aware that you are on the person's skin guys right and whether you on the skin or not please be gentle file is straight up and down and i'm looking for dead center on the on the nail if i cut it in the center that's where you want your nail to come together right here and you will know if it's to the left to the left all this the stuff you have in a box to the left you will know that <laughs> right i can actually feel right here that i probably need a little bit more product on that nail but we'll see all the stuff you got in a box to the left you don't want it to the left or to the right you want it dead center and you're gonna file both sides and you know if it's not dead center it's not a big deal but you know some symmetry is what we're looking for what you do on the left side you want to do it on the right side I feel like I need to put a little bit more powder there but we'll figure that out in a second so now that I have the side here clear and I have the side here all the way to the back of the nail clear we want to go around the back and on this nail right here you see I have a little lip right here that lip has to come down to almost nothing and if you can see it you can expand your video and you see a lip there when people talk about the hair getting caught up underneath the nail that's why so I'm gonna go see how I'm holding the file again I know my hand is close to the camera and I'm gonna go right above that just like if I was using my, if I was using a, I'm not going to turn it on. You're going to, you're going around here. That's where I'm taking the file and going around there. Slow down. I'm gonna go up on it like so on one side and then I'm gonna come down on this side like so okay no I don't need any powder the top was just too high and then if it's too high I am going to go across the top to bring down the bulk guys I'm working on myself so I'm a little bit rougher on myself yes yeah, so no no we're gonna go up in one direction because this one had a ski slope on it and then I'm gonna come down on the other side And back here has that little lip. I'm not rubbing the skin, I'm rubbing the lip down. And guys, just like how your e-file could cut the guess, your hand file will do the same thing. know what it is you are working on now i got most of this lippy piece here down and the rest of the way on that i will go in with my buffer 
and I'll show you what I mean. But I don't know if the camera can see. There was a lip right here, and it's gone. Right? I'm inspecting for the shape. Did I go to the left? Did I go to the right? Alrighty. This one also, see before I do it, let's see if I can clean it up so you can see. The cuticle back here, there's a little lip back there. You know what I'm talking about, guys. So if you know your clients are complaining about pulling snag in their hair, you know what we're talking about. You know what happened, right? So I went underneath the skin here, underneath the, the there was a little bit of a, um, uh, flooding right here so i went underneath it i was aware of where the skin is and i just went underneath it and i want a, the drainage right here to be visible to me and it, it, if you didn't over flood like right here you can see see the camera is catching it right there so i'm going underneath it careful careful I'm to the front now, so, you know, I'm freeing up that space that was right there. And now I'm going to go back here. I can feel the bungee of my skin, so I'm not cutting into it. And so when I put the file in, I am here, not down here onto the skin. I am here so that when I'm rubbing, I am not filing the person's or your skin. I am going to go around to the back, just like I would use my e-file and a bit back here. So I'm going to rest it on the, I'm putting the hand file right here. You can still see this, my skin, right? So I'm putting the hand file back here. So it's on top of the, the acrylic. And I'm going around. I want to still see the skin. And I can feel my skin bungee if I get down to it. Start practicing yourself to feel that. Then we're going to go up on one side of this nail. And then we're going to hold the file like this. And we're going to come down on the other side. And you can do this on both sides. But it has something to do with the shape. Um, if you don't believe me, you can go on to Young Nails. They have a couple of videos where, if I can find one, I will link it in the description where Greg is showing you how to go up. But I also took their class. I knew this, but I'm giving you a reference. You know, we all about researching on Entourage Nail Gallery. And I have to reference where I get my information from that I'm passing on to you. So I am referencing Young Nails. If I can, well, I will look for it. It might not go on right away. You may have to come back um, while I'm looking for it. But I promise myself to post a video every day. So I am trying to keep up with that schedule. So I will post the video. But as soon as I find a reference, I would link it. And then I will also make an announcement on another video. Hey, I linked where I got it if I don't have it up right away. Capiche, guys? Honesty on Entourage Nail Gallery. We're going to give you everything you need. And we're going to tell you where we get any information from. So it's not like I'm pulling out of my hiney where I'm getting the information. It's tried and true. I believe in tried and true. What do you guys think? I'm going across the top. When I go across the top like so, I'm doing this for removing bulk. Another thing is I want my nails, this, everything's supposed to be coming down off of my finger. So if this is higher than everything else, guys, you're already wrong for that. Okay. Now we're going to do inspect it. It'll show you where you need to, you know, go around whatever you need to do to bring the bulk down. So when I'm across the top like so, I'm removing bulk. 
when I go up and when I come down, come down, I'm maintaining shape. Okay. You got to know why you're doing what you're doing. Okay. And then we have the thumb and the pinky. So we remove, um, I'm dusting this off every time, guys. So I want you to see what I'm seeing. So I got a little bit, it's not a lot, guys, but I want to get up underneath it. And when you go up underneath it, you know the skin, you're close to the skin here. You might even be on the skin. Be aware of that. This one I got flooding all the way down here. Don't pick it either. If you pick, you can potentially start promoting lifting. So you really want to file it away. On the pinky, remember we didn't put the point in on the pinky. I'm going in right now. I'm doing that. The file straight up and down. I can't tell you any more than I just said. Keep the file straight up and down. When you're looking for the shape to the sides and sharpness. And if you had put in any kind of sharpness, when, the, when you had just put the tip on, no acrylic on it, it will be easy for you to do this right here. You're not doing too much. And I promise you, I am not going to edit this video. So I'm not going to do anything behind your back that you didn't see me do. Okay, once again, guys, we're going to go around. We're coming down on one side. And we're going to go up on the other side. Another person I would reference you guys to. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this. I just... Watch other people's work as well. So perhaps you don't have to do it. But um, Gabby on... Gabby, Gabby, what's your... um Gabby on Bomb Nails. Check her out, guys. Gabby on Bomb Nails. She don't know me. I do not know her. But when I'm doing research and I'm checking out what other people are doing, I'm checking for accuracy. I'm checking to see if there's anything that they're doing that I could emulate. The pre-shaping of the nails prior to applying, prior to applying product is her ammo. Her nails are well shaped before she puts the well shaped. When I say well shaped, she does will not move on unless the nails are well shaped before she put the acrylics down. Check out her work, you'll see what I'm talking about. Her work is extremely advanced, but if you wanna check that part of the deal, yes, all right. So, oops, guys, I promise I always forget the thumb. So the thumb didn't really have much stuck to it on either side, but you still wanna do that. And here it is, I am straight up and down with my hand file and you want to do one side against the other because what will happen is you could go off shape if you um file one side too much and not the other i'm underneath to take off some of the thickness on the bottom and i come up and i sort of like turn in my hand i go up I went to school in Boston and um, my <laughs> instructor had us instructor, Mr. Patrick. Patrick was, you would swear he was Italian mob. The Italian shoes, the jewelry, the outfit, the, the long hair, the ponytail, and the pinky ring. He looked like a godfather. 
And Patrick will tell me, Carol, you will jack somebody here and nails up if you don't listen. You don't do this. <laughs> I love you, Mr. Patrick. I don't even know if he's still alive. This is a long time ago. But he and I used to fight all the time because he did have a little bit of a mob mentality. And I'm Trinidadian, so, you know, it didn't make a good combination. But he was a great instructor. And it's funny how the people you fight with the most is the ones you're going to reference for your stories later on in life, which tells me we were loving each other. We just didn't know how to express our love to each other. Alrighty, so guys, we are at that point, right? And now I am going to do my buff routine. So y'all know I love me my 100, 180 um, sponge buffer. And I yesterday on my video, I kept referring to this as a sponge buffer. Guys, this is also a sponge buffer, okay? <laughs> and yes, the numbers are the same. So this is just the same like your hand file. And the reason why they do what they do for buffing your nails is because the sponge gives it the cushion that makes it bouncy. Right, so the 100 is the rougher side. So we're going to go in with the 100. And now if you were concerned about the back and cutting folks and stuff, you might feel a little bit more confident now using the buffer to go around. And because it's 100 and because it's 180, it will allow you to go around the cuticle with confidence that it has a sponge there and it's not cutting the person. Don't get me wrong. You can cut with anything that you're using, but there's a likelihood of you not doing that at this point. So now we're going to go around the cuticle. And really all you need to know about hand filing is you're going up this way. You coming down this way, and you gotta have a firm hold on your tool. And you also, when you go across, you are doing that with the intentions to remove bulk. Okay. It's feeling so good. And yes, there's a little bit of bulk you could remove when you're buffing. I have not touched my e-file except for when I was showing you the reference with the e-file around the cuticles. And I actually did this whole hand Hand filing. Oh, this feels so friggin' good. I'm going to show you guys something else I do to make sure that I did my cuticle work well. See, you want to clean up all of this stuff on the bottom here. And the reason why I like these hand files as opposed to anything else, guys, is because I do have big hands. And I have the other ones. Of course, I use them. Don't be ridiculous. Of course, I use them. But um, if I had a choice and an option, I would prefer these. And so you would see me use these a lot. And it's for comfort of my huge hands. And I'm going around the cuticles, guys. So that's why I say the opportunity to make sure the cuticles are well done. 
So if you having a hard time with e-filing and that's what's frustrating you, and so you want to give up, try hand filing first. Get your confidence up with hand filing and then go back to your e-file. All is not lost. All right. So now, guys, I went over the whole hands and then I do like so, right? So I can hit a lot of surface at the same time and then I go around and do, you know, the sides that wasn't getting hit when I go over the top. Okay, so that's that. So now, this is something I like to do. Now, we already discussed that I can put some cuticle oil on my last video and buff the nail some more. So if I have cuticle oil on the nail right now and I see something that I don't like, it's okay. I can still go back and work the nail, right? So I am going to take a little bit of a cuticle oil at this stage. Now, this is what I want you guys to see. Sometimes when the nails is dusty, you cannot see if you can see the enhancement, your nail, your natural nail, and your skin, your cuticle area. When I do that, when I'm with a guest or on myself, that's what I'm looking for. Did I create a clean when it goes around? The cuticle oil will show me right away if I have product on my skin. So I am looking for my skin, I'm looking for the enhancement, and I'm looking for my natural nail. And for each and every single one of these that I did that to, you can see it. If you don't see it, please go back and clean up your work, right? I wanna see the product travel around and I can see the, the enhancements. You can see the space in between here and you can see my cuticle. Capiche guys? Okay, so now that's the first set of hydration. I am going to go wash my hand. Um, it's gonna take me a second because you're not gonna clean up the oils off my hand. So this part of the video with integrity, I have to tell you, I will cut that part out. When I'm, that's the only part of the video is going to be edited. And then I am going to come back and do the top coat. All right. So give me a second here, guys. Let me go wash my hand and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Oops. I'm back. Let me dry my hand. I'm going to flip this over so we don't have any dust on my... I'm just drying my hands, guys. This one is bothering me because, oops, it's longer than all the rest of them. So we're going to take the tip of this one down. It was a little bit longer than the others. Okay. And you will be able to see that too. If it's a little bit longer, you will see it. And so now that I did that, refile it, you're going to see the scratches and stuff there. Please clean that up. Okay. And before, last but not least... Y'all know I love my, I call it my Sham Wow Buffer. I have no idea what the name of this thing is, but I know my nail tech in Boston and Georgia used to use it. And we talked about this being a personal item. So needless for me to say, I use this on myself and myself only. When I use them in the shop, I retail them to the guests and... And we use theirs on themselves. All right. So 
I'm going to use that little towel that I used to dry my hand. Ooh, I love my chocolate raspberry. So guys, this is really, really scandalous, right? Don't tell nobody I told y'all. But before I married my husband, I was engaged to a former Marine. Yes, I like the military guys. And um, needless to say, he and I did not make it. But his family still loves, cares, and supports me in everything that I do. So if I don't go home to Boston, um, his, the ex's name is Michael, or was, he's, he's passed on now. Michael has a sister who lives here in Maryland, um, in Silver Spring. So the next town over, and um, this is like the third or the fourth time. If I don't go home to my family, um, we've been here in Laurel for 12, 13 years. So at least three to four times um, we have had Thanksgiving dinner. When her mom comes down from Boston, if the mom is coming down from Boston, I will go over and have Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, and my husband is there. Um, and before Michael died, after we came back from Japan, when my husband was serving in Okinawa, um, he met him. And so we, he's, he's, he's cool with it, but it's just one of those things, you know, when the family knew that they missed out because your son wasn't all of that. His dad used to say to me, why you want to marry my son? And I was like, look, if your father is saying you ain't it, then buddy, you ain't it. Because, you know, most parents will be like, they don't care how bad their son is if they find a good woman. Um, they will still encourage the woman to marry their son, regardless of how difficult life is going to be for them. Well, his father straight up told me, don't marry my son. He ain't the one. So I didn't. But um, that's where we will be having Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I attended his funeral when he passed on. He had surgery that he didn't quite make it out of surgery and his mom called me and let me know that he was on life support i had the flu and i couldn't go to the hospital and yes i'd been married at this point for many years um but we, we remain close with the family and um ooh, pretty 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 um, where, where, where was I going with that? Yeah, I, so I couldn't make it to the, I couldn't make it to the hospital before he was turned off of the machine. And, um, yeah, there's a, a story, backstory to that, but whatever. Um, I didn't, so I didn't go to the hospital. I wanted to go, but I was just getting over the flu and the floor he's on. If you're on life support, there's a lot of sick people there so you don't want me bringing the flu to them so i didn't go but i i did attend the funeral and um yeah i guess it wasn't a big deal that we didn't get married so that's where i'm having thanksgiving dinner this year so i'm about to show you guys this um I'm about to show you once the 60 seconds is up that I'm drying for. I put some cuticle oil on it and I'll show you the reveal 
and then I turn the camera off and I go complete this ham. So I would be ready for Thanksgiving dinner and um, it's not quite what the drawing was, but it was close enough. And um, I got all the elements. I wanted some of the, I wanted some of these dotty thingies in there. I wanted some of the, what do you call it? The four leaves in there. And I, some of the powders that I swatched, I wanted to get in there. Um, and as much as I own those eye gel powders, um, I will use them on a guest, but not necessarily on myself. Oh, wow, guys. It's, it's actually really fally, really pretty. Um, let's put some more cuticle oil on there. Oh, wow. And this thing just gives you a lot of cuticle oil because when I do the the, the guests, I also lotion their hand. You know, we've been dehydrating their hand for the last hour. Right? So I hydrate their hands and put some lotion on and rub that in. So there you have it, guys. Ooh. Very, very nice. I hope those of you who are asking for um, ha a hand filing video, I mean, you can see where the cuticles are nice and the product is not stuck in there. There isn't a lip on the back of it. This one is a little bit hard to see because it's clear, but that's it. I'll do a photo shoot in a little bit. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching. And once again, please like and subscribe and share with a friend.